The Comet project is about using industrial robots for machining uh, technologies. We all know uh, normal milling uh, machines, quite expensive, and what we are looking for is a more cost efficient but still very reliable uh, technology to machine high added value parts. Uh, in the Comet project, we plan to do the offline compensation uh, together with PowerMill or with Obsidian system. Um, in the work package one, we are developing the models, uh, describing the robot's behavior, describing uh, the deviation the robot has due to forces, due to its errors, compliance in the gears or backlash in the gears that the user would occur. For example, during machining, he wants to reach a certain spot, but he can't, the robot has a certain error. And we want to know this beforehand, model this and compensate, so we reach our target. So if with DECAM robot interface, we are now able to reproduce in the simulation the errors we can see on the robot, the, all of the, ina of the inaccuracy. And using the mathematics developed by BTU and the front of IPA, we are now able to compensate for all of this to, to create a correct toolpath that takes into account all of these inaccuracies. And as you have seen in some of the experiments we are doing, uh, we work a lot with uh, model-based approaches and feedback. But many of those experiments, for instance, the calibration routines that uh, end up in models that can then be used also online, but primarily offline. And the advantage with using it offline is that then you can simulate and predict often better exactly how the robot will move. Of course, you cannot take up some unforeseen changes online, but you gain in predictability, I would say. This is a, a little personal because I have in my past experience a period of work in automatic control. And uh, it is quite clear that automatic control is the basic subject of this project. Force feedback, different kind of control loops that act together in different times. So we talk compensating disturbances, making different control systems to reach an objective. So it's quite interesting. Yes, the, the, the good concept here is that we can predict uh, what will happen on the real robots and compensate before running it. And that's, I think, a very, very strong point. We have the modeling approach for these dynamic effects. And uh, then they are used in two different ways. First, it's to just predict, okay, what happens if the robot has this or that uh, deficiency, such as backlash in a few joints, and when does it harm the milling result? And there we have impressive results now that we can even visualize that in, in power mill. I can see that in this project does not happen what sometimes may happen in other projects that the partners go along their own line of development. The project is well, very well managed and I trust that we will reach the objectives within the short time it has given itself. So what excites me is that we are succeeding in connecting low-level dynamic effects with high-level user aspects. And that is really the key to success, I think. What really excites me is that um, th there's a phrase, one said by a very uh, famous person, uh, even uh, Bell, and that is, uh, knowledge is power, but enthusiasm is the switch. And I really see that in this project, we have uh, uh, 14 partners involved with a lot of know-how, but especially with their enthusiasm, we are making a big change and it will work in the end after only 30 months of uh, very hard work.